Yeah, I know, man. It looks like I got robbed, but I didn't. The 10 and the 12 is over there on the floor, and all of my symbols are still in the case. I got to take them right back out in a couple of days anyways. Plus, I don't really need them for this lesson. So, intermediate and advanced drummers. I'd appreciate it if you stuck around, but you're not obligated to stay. This video is for all of my... Shut up. It wasn't at me. This video... Sorry, man. This video is for all of my beginner drummers out there because your independence sucks. But that's okay, man. I'm assuming that's why you clicked on this video. So anyways, today I'm going to show you exactly why it sucks and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Welcome back. If you're still here and you didn't run off offended because I told you that your independence sucked. But uh, the fact of the matter is, all beginner drummers' independence sucks. Mine did. It's a common problem. It's not a big deal. I assume that's why you clicked on this video in the first place. So let me tell you why it sucks and let me show you how to fix it. Now, separating your four limbs, your hands, and your feet is a long process, man. It's going to take you a good while to do it. But the good news is, as long as you approach it the right way, you really only need two things, repetition and patience. Now today we're going to tackle a very common problem that almost every single beginner drummer that I've ever taught, I see it in all of them and it's always the same thing. When I go to teach them grooves and stuff, um, anything that's based on eighth notes is just fine. As soon as you start to introduce 16th notes on the bass drum, your right hand tends to want to follow your right foot, and it's super annoying. So all we really have to do to fix that is just introduce some very simple things that you can, that you can um, play on the kit, repetitive little things that you can do that will slowly encourage the separation between the hands and the feet. Now whenever I used to teach beginner drummers 
any type of uh, just basic rock beat, they would pick it up no problem, right? Everything was just fine because everything is just kind of lining up because we're dealing with eight notes. So you're going one and two and three and four and on the hi-hats, and then we're only playing eighth notes on the kick. So whatever you play down here is going to line up with the right hand. But as soon as you start getting in the funkier type grooves that introduce an offbeat 16th note on the kick, 100% of the time, this would happen. So don't feel bad, don't feel discouraged, nothing like that. I was just kidding off the top there. Um, it's a very common problem with beginner drummers. And as long as you kind of approach it the right way, you can fix it. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. There's a very simple and kind of musical way that, um, that you can train your brain to sort of help separate those limbs. Now let me throw this at you real quick. Watch this clip. How many notes was I playing with my right hand on the hi-hats per bar? It was just eight, right? Wrong! You heard eight. Yeah. So we're going to take advantage of this sort of natural muscle reaction and, um, and we're going to use it by applying a very simple idea that will encourage your right hand to separate from your right foot. So the idea here is actually really pretty simple and almost kind of silly, but it totally works. All right. So all you're going to do is you're really just going to imagine that you're playing those offbeat 16th notes in the air, like physically in the air. You can imagine that there's, there's a block here or there's a second pair of hats or a snare or another kick drum, whatever. Whatever you want to do, that will help. But, um, but what you're actually doing is just playing that offbeat 16th note at the top of the stroke. So if we got a very simple type of groove like doom, doom, cat, doom, doom, cat, so right back here, so that's that offbeat 16th note, you're going to be playing it in the air, like at the top of the stroke. If your right foot wants to follow your right hand, let it. It's all right. You're not going to hear that note anyway. When you do that at a slow tempo long enough, all right, that gap is slowly going to expand, it's going to get larger and larger and larger until there's complete separation. So all you really got to do is just play some really simple basic grooves that involve a couple of offbeat um, 16th notes on the kick drum and just again concentrate on what you're doing, all right? This problem is going to correct itself over time. So I'm going to give you three different exercises. Learn the kick pattern first, get that in your head. Just play eighth notes, just straight eighth notes on the hi-hats. And, um, and when you hear those offbeat eights, concentrate on just playing those notes in the air.
So that's it, beginners. Take your time with them. Have fun with them. I guarantee you, you do these exercises on a regular basis. Your independence problem will start to get better as of right now. So that's it for me, man. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you share it if you dig it. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Hopefully by now, you went and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Visit the merch shop. Pick yourself up one of these if you feel like it. This comes in hoodies and t-shirts and you can also get the mug. There's a mug available now. Every time you pick up a piece of merch, you're supporting the channel. So I very much appreciate it. That's it, man. Like, subscribe. See you next video.